Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020 Panini Donruss Optic Baseball 12 box. Pick your team number three, which filled before number two. Big thanks to all of these folks right here for getting into the action and pick your team three on the 22nd. Brand new release day. A couple baseball releases here. Thanks everyone for getting in. Appreciate it. Anthony with that last spot mojo, Cardinals. I think he also bought them in break two as well, which I'm sure we'll get to that at some point tonight. that open. Put these, stack those boxes right on top of each other right there. There we go. Good luck, everybody. Aristides Aquino on the front, even though he was sent to the minors. You would think that Panini would call up the Reds and be like, hey, we got Aquino on the box this year, so, so maybe, maybe. maybe not cut him from your Major League squad. It would be helpful. We're just before the video, we're talking about the, uh, oh, we'll have a recap at the end, too. So if you're like, I don't want to wait like 40 minutes to an hour. For this break, if you're watching the replay, you can flash forward, flash forward, fast forward to the end of the break, and you'll see me do a recap of the autographs and any other cards, maybe numbered 25 or less, and any other highlights. We'll we'll add there. If you're watching live, you're just stuck with us. You're stuck watching this break. But we were, before the break, we we're talking about. Post pandemic, we should get a Jaspie's Beach House. Have some DJs, making some music. We can sip tropical drinks by the pool, do some dancing, some case breaking. You know, I think it'd be a good time, just like an MTV Beach House. Yeah, get like four non blondes in the Beach House. Right? Yeah. Good luck, boys and girls. So no veteran commons will ship, but parallels like this hollow will certainly ship. Hot box is in here too. I think there's a parallel hot box and an autograph hot box in here. There's Matt Olson. We'll sleeve and top load all these later, just in the interest of time. We want to breeze through this. There's Pokemon Go Fest commercials going on here. And we got, out of 125, Bryce Harper for the Phillies. And obviously all the rated prospects, rated rookie stuff will ship. Mythical, ins all the inserts will ship. AJ Puck will ship. Sean Murphy ships. You know, all these inserts will ship, of course. Bo Bichette ships. Josh Bell Illusions Hollow ships. And of course, Dustin Pedroia. Nice, laser show. Dustin Pedroia. That's for Kyle Cook and the Red Sox. 10 out of 10. Nice gold autograph. Ramon Laureano, pink velocity to 199 for the A's. And our second autograph, Kyle Lewis, rated rookie auto for the M's, EA, for the Mariners. And there's mythical insert Luis Robert for the White Sox. Box one in the books.
Got a little basketball on the background. Wizards playing the Nuggets in a it's like pre warm up preseason warm up action. Dust off your uh, your bowl bowl autographs for the Denver Nuggets, folks. Those have been skyrocketing since he since it looks like he's gonna be part of this whole restart, and probably in the playoffs too. He was only getting G League time throughout the season. Baseball starting tomorrow. Soon we're going to go from zero sports, zero team sports, to a ton of team sports. It'll be trippy seeing, seeing like actual basketball, meaningful basketball games happen while we're watching the baseball season start and then the hockey season soon after that too all at the same time I, I think usually by now we'd be watching like summer league games right in Vegas so kind of wild there's Lucas Giolito to 50 there's JD Martinez to 150 Oh, yeah, hockey playoffs should be fun. There's Gavin Lux, red, white, and blue to 150. We got David Grillon or Grulon to 199. There's Eugenio Suarez to 75. This looks like the parallel hot box here. Chris Paddock to 60 for the Friars. We got Teal Velocity. Teal to 35. I haven't memorized all of the names of these parallels. There's Jonathan Hernandez to 199. And Ronaldo Hernandez, 39 out of 50. Tampa Bay Rays. John McCall with the Rays. There you go, John. A lot of people talking that the Rays is, uh, you know, Rays are an interesting pick to go deep into the playoffs or have a good season. There's Walker Buehler to 150. Uh, yeah, that's still uploading. Yeah, it's at 0% processing. It's an hour-long video, so yeah, it's going to take a little bit. There's Edwin Rios, who could benefit from the the DH being a thing. There's Matt Chapman to 150. And there's Enrico Garcia to 100. Corey Kluber to 75. Brock Burke to 199. Josh Bell to 199. Trey Mancini to 50. Alex Bregman to 75. And our next autograph is Adbert Alzole, 52 out of 99. A rated rookie autograph for EA and the Cubs. Nice. Throwing Francisco Lindor around. There's out of 199, Kyle Hendricks for EA and the Cubs. Pink Velocity, Brian Reynolds to 199. Not Ryan Reynolds, but Brian Reynolds. There's Randy Arazarena to 75. And Sutsugo for the Rays. All right, next box. Any baseball on for this baseball break? Gotcha. We're gonna have a game on MLB Nara. Right. Great. Great.
guess we got some games happening right now. Marlins up 4-2 in the top of the eighth. Cardinals up 6-2, bottom of the sixth. End of the sixth. Cleveland up 4-2, top of the fifth. Uh, Tigers Reds just started 0-0. Yeah, Marlins up 4-2 on the Braves. Top of the eighth. This is bad, bad, bad news for the Braves. Who's scoring these runs? I see H. Ramirez. That's not Hanley Ramirez for the Marlins. It's Harold Ramirez. Has three RBIs on the day. Who was starting for the Braves? Who gave up those runs? Kyle Wright? Yeah, Kyle Wright gave up a couple of earned runs, and then Melanson gave up a couple of earned runs. That's not, that's not what the Braves want to see out of Mark Melanson. All right, we got Jalen Davis to 100, Case Luis Lizardo, hollow, Aaron Nola to 35, Buster Posey to 60. Is this another parallel hot box here? I think so. Christian Yelich to 35, Keston Hira to 50. Wow. And a one of one Zach Collins rated rookie card. Nice. Gold vinyl. Brian Sawyer with the White Sox. Nice, Brian. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Whoop whoop. I'm have to set that aside for for picture time. I forgot to take a picture of that other card from the first break. All right. There's Brewstar Greater All for the Dodgers to 125. And we've got a Corbin Carroll Fireworks autograph. Nice. Robert with the Diamondbacks. Baby, you're fireworks. Austin Meadows to 199. Willie Castro to 199. Detroit. Andres Munoz to 125 for the Padres. Shane Bieber, 72 out of 100. Kevin Biggio to 60. There's Shun Yamaguchi to 25. Jared Kalanick for the Mariners. Freddie Freeman to 76. Ronald Acuna Jr. to 100. Eloy Jimenez to 125. He should be pretty good this year. Anthony K. to 125. That's for the Toronto Blue Jays. That'll be for Raymond De Jesus. And we got a gold, TJ Zhu. 10 out of 10. Raymond again with the Bluebirds. There's John Means to 75. Mike Trout hollow and a Donnie Walton for the M's to 60. All right, another box in the books, next one. Dennis Moore says Braves will be fine. They were down 8-1 last night and came back and won. I think Panini calls them gold vinyls to be, if we want to be specific. We want to use the Panini Dictionary. Let's look at the checklist. Yeah, gold vinyl, one of one. There's an eagle, one of one, apparently. I don't know what these are. We got a lot of parallels here. So we got the regular base cards, and then the refractors are the hollows, which, depending on players, could carry 
some really strong value, even more than some of the numbered cards. Pink Velocity to 199, red, white, and blue to 150, black stars to 125. I think that's the black one with like the little stars in the background. That actually looks really cool. Orange to 100, Spirit of 76, obviously out of 76, blues to 75, uh, red to 60, Carolina blue is to 50, teal velocity 35, black uh, is 25, gold is to 10, green out of five, eagle, I've I don't know what Eagle is, but there's an Eagle one of one, and then we saw that gold vinyl Zach Collins for uh, Brian Sawyer and the White Sox. And then there's first off the line parallels, choice parallels, and then retail parallels too. And we're doing the hobby version here. Dennis, is this the year the Braves put it all together? Here. Uh, according to MLB.com, this might be different right now, but got Soroka, Fulton Nevitz, Max Fried, Cole Hamill, Sean Newcomb, Kyle Wright in the starting rotation. Got Melanson, Will, oh yeah, Will Smith is on that team now too. Pitcher Will Smith, Shane Green, Luke Jackson, Darren O'Day, Curtis Martin, Grant Dayton. I think Grant Dayton was a former Dodger too. Jeremy Walker. Chris Rusin. Got Dayernod. Arnod? Dayernod? Old Mets player, I think. Not old, but. Tyler Flowers at catcher. Freddie Freeman. Austin Riley. Hecheveria. Albies is great. Johan Camargo is in the mix. Austin Riley could play there too. So can Solarte. Swanson at short. Oh, yeah, Marcelo Zuna is on the, in left field. Ender Inciarte is solid. Nakunia in right field. All right, interesting. Dennis thinks maybe a year or two away. How are we feeling about that pitching rotation? I think this is the case hit right here. Javier Baez, Stars and Stripes. It goes to EA and the Cubs. I think this is a sharp set. I would collect this. Build, build this complete set. Jason Dominguez, 27 out of 50. Rated prospect autograph for the Yankees. Robert. Robert Garicki with that one. Nice. Great break so far. There's Nico Horner to 100. Nolan Arenado to 60. Red, white, and blue, Bryce Harper to 150. This will save that Jason Dominguez hollow as well. And we've got Logan Webb for the Giants. That'll be for Michael Armstrong. Corey, what's up? So Dennis saying, what, Freed and Soroka are solid. Pitching would have been better if King Felix wouldn't have opted out. Yeah, I was really interested in seeing seeing uh, Felix Hernandez put in some work. All right, next box.
Oh, é. Yolis. Chassin. Yeah, he's in the mix, too. And there's some other guys that are... That could be in the mix. When's, uh... Don't, what, what about Ian Anderson? Isn't Ian Anderson a big pitching prospect for the Braves? When's he coming up? I know, Corey. That's the big news of the day. I woke up to that news. And then it was finally confirmed. Yeah, big money deal. I was I was surprised that uh, I thought Mookie Betts was going to test free agency, even even with you know even with the uh, pandemic making. I mean, maybe that was his reason. It was just like, hey, the pandemic signing. You know, it might not be a big bidding war, so. A year or so away for Aaron Anderson. You don't think he's going to be that good in 10 years? I mean, I think Mookie Betts probably be a decent player in 10 years. It's not like he's, uh, that speed's going to go. But I think he'll be, I think he'll be effective. I don't think he's going to drop off like, say, Miguel Cabrera or something like that. Or even Pujols. But yeah, I mean, I think it'll be. I don't. I don't think. I think it'll be worth it if. It'll certainly, be worth it if Dodgers knock out a. A World Series win or two, in the next, five years. There's Abraham Toro for the Astros. I think if Mookie can help deliver that. I don't think they'll worry about the back end of his contract. Uh, that'll be for Johnny Cannon and the Strohs. Yeah, I remember that vaguely when the Dodgers signed Daryl Strawberry and Eric Davis. And I think them and Vince Coleman threw a firecracker out of a car that I think injured like fans or something like that. Altuve for Johnny Cannon and the Astros. It's uh, Astros personal box. If you look closely, you can see the, the buzzer under his uniform. It's there. It's Cody Ballinger to 150. There's Daryl Strawberry right there. Anthony K to 50. And there's Jake Fraley to 199 uh, for Seattle. I don't know. I think that uh, it's kind of hard to compare, though, that era and this era. I think there's it's completely different ownership, completely different, completely different front office. And I think Andrew Freeman has been so cautious about spending any kind of money, any kind of big free agent money. So if he's like. If he's thinking, and he's kind of managed the the contracts and the signings and the farm system so well that if he says, "Hey, this player is worth it, and worth all this money," then I'm, I'll be willing to give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll trust him. I think Joe Adele is getting called. I mean, I saw him play yesterday. Had some playing time yesterday. I think they were originally going to call him up or have him have an outfield job anyway this season. So I would imagine they would put him on the, the shortened season roster too. That'd be hashtag good for the hobby. It's supposed to be the real deal.
And is that Fernando Tatis Jr.? Yeah, autograph. Second year auto. For the Padres. That'll go to Jorge. With the Friars. Nice. I would Im I guess I would imagine Joe Adele would be Is he not a RC in this year's stuff? So yeah, my guess is is yeah, maybe a future update product or a Topps Chrome release or something like that. Might see our first Joe Adele rookies. What's he in this set? Is he a rated prospect in this set? There's Ronald Acuna Jr. to 199. There's Joe Adele. We're just just talking about him. There he is. So he's a rated prospect in this optic set. So maybe he's not officially a rookie card in any sets just yet. That'll go to the Halos. That'll be for Brian Sawyer and the Angels. Christian Yelich red to 60. And Sheldon Nusi. Pink Velocity, Raider Rookie Pink Velocity for Oakland. Ryan Hayes with that. wonder if Ryan Hayes had any relation to Willie Mays Hayes. How you doing? How you doing? My oh, man. You may run like Mays, but you hit like bleep. What have I have I been cut already? Get this guy a uniform. Come on, Doran. Don't give me this old lay BS. Hats for bats. Keep bats warm. Nice, there you go, Brandon Richards. Good. That shipping wasn't too bad. Now, I've not seen any Luis. I've, we've seen like a couple of Luis Robert inserts and maybe some hollows and stuff like that, but I've I've not uh I've not seen any autographs of him yet. <laughs> nice catch, Willie. Don't ever do it again. Hey, bartender, Joe Boo needs a refill. Here we go. Corey Kluber hollow. Oh, what did I miss here? Raphael Devers red, white, and blue to 150. All of these will be sleeved and top loaded before they get sorted and shipped out, of course. Travis Demerit, rated rookie autograph for Fred Schultz and the Tigers. Mark Rubin says $11 million budget for Major League. Gross over 50 at the box office. Nice. That's a great movie. I've got to got to fire up Major League to get myself fired up for the baseball season. Corey saying, if I had to choose either Bo Bichette or Tatis Jr., who are we taking? Tatis Jr. 
I take him over Guerrero Jr. too. Luis Robert, the rookie's hollow for the White Sox. That'll be for Brian Sawyer. Charlie Blackman, pink velocity for Dan and the Rockies. Uh, no, veteran commons won't won't ship in this set, Oliver. AJ Puck, Ryan Hayes, Oakland A's. I think uh, Tatis Jr. just has better a better ceiling just overall, just from from when he was a prospect. I think he had a higher ceiling and. I think I think he might be a little uh, I think he might be a little underrated because of the market that he plays in. But he's an incredible fielder. He hits well, great plate discipline. He's got a little speed, I think. The uh, the power is going to be there. Yeah, the, the, a little bit of an injury bug last year. I feel like I feel like that was a little uh, disappointing. But Padres could have a good team really quick, you know? They've got some young pitchers here. Like Chris Paddock is pretty good. Garrett Richards bounces back. Remember, they signed Garrett Richards to a two-year deal. And knowing that in year one that he wasn't going to play. So essentially, whatever he's getting paid for that for one year this year in a shortened season too. But Garrett Richards is there. Joey Lucchese could be interesting. Cal Quantrill is a, is a good youngster. Paul Quantrill's kid, if you remember Paul Quantrill. He's got a decent, I mean, Kirby Yates is great. Solid middle relief. Francisco Mejia starts to be the, the catching prospect that he's supposed to be, especially with the bat. Hosmer, Will Myers, Yerkes and Profar, Machado, of course, Tatis Jr., Tommy Pham is in the mix, Josh Naylor's in that organization, they just picked up Trent Myers, so, so yeah, I mean... A lot of young players there that could suddenly get good really fast. A lot of teams like that, that could be, if, it, if something just clicks, you know. I know that they, most of these youngsters probably need a few more years to marinate, but they're good enough where if it all just kind of clicks together, be some dangerous young teams out there. White Sox, Blue Jays, Padres. Machado right there. Andre Morojon for the Padres to 150. Quit Merrifield. Cool fit. And Danny Mendick. 14 out of 75. Chicago White Sox. Brian Sawyer with that one. Would SoCal fans prefer Lakers or Dodgers championship this year? A Lakers championship? For me, personally. That's more of a complete season. This is a glorified, you know, exhibition season, really. There's Vlad Guerrero Jr. So, I mean, what would what would winning this year really mean for any team that wins a World Series this year? Just won't. It'll be different. It'll still count, I guess. But I mean, I'll take it. But I think overall, I think every baseball fan would rather have a World Series coming off of a 162-game season as opposed to a 60-game season. But the basketball, NBA seasons, you know, I mean, that was, what, 80% of the season was done? By the time they, they 
you know, the pandemic forced the NBA to hit the pause button back in March. So most of the season's done. Bo Bichette autograph? Yes. Nice rated rookie autograph, Bo Bichette. That will be for Raymond De Jesus with the Bluebirds. Nice. It's got a good on-card autograph. Kind of hard to get a good look at it this with the lighting, but it's a sharp hit. And behind Abraham Torres, Andres Munoz for the Padres. It'll be for Jorge with the hollow rated rookie autograph. Brian Anderson, is this her autograph hot box? That was like her third or fourth autograph? Signature Series auto for Miami, Matthew Stubblefield with the Marlins. and Cease back there. There's the Jason Dominguez. Pairs nicely with the auto that we pulled for you earlier, Robert. All right, four box to go. A little over halfway there. And yeah, I've got about another 20 minutes or so, 20, 25 minutes or so in this break. Then we'll go through a zillion orders after this, and then we'll see... Uh, We'll see. I know there's a lot of stuff sold out, so we'll just see who gets what. Yeah, Brian Anderson's pretty solid. Marlins are Marlins a team that could do some make some noise in a few years. I mean they they they're totally reconstruct deconstructed and now reconstructing that team. So all I mean with a lot of a lot of first round picks, you know a lot of high first round picks. They must they must be able to get get something going. No, Will Christian says not until like 2023, 2025. I like Jordan Yamamoto. Kind of a, sort of a, you would expect his stuff to be the stuff of a crafty lefty, but I think he's, I think he's a righty. Doesn't have overpowering stuff, but has a lot of different pitches that he can throw for strikes. So he's pretty interesting. He's from Hawaii or California, something like that. Hawaii is his jet. Yeah, Jordan Yamamoto from Hawaii. Uh, Corey's wondering who the Red Sox have in the farm system. Blaze Jordan, says Cooper. What about the prospects you got from the Dodgers? For Mookie Betts, Alex Verdugo. Jeter Downs went in that deal. Yeah, what about Jaron Duran was drafted recently? Duran Duran. Hungry Like the Wolf. Rio. Save a prayer for me now. Ordinary world. It's Tommy Edmund to 199. Pink velocity. There's Patrick Sandoval, rated rookie hollow. Jake Rogers to 75. Jake the Snake. Jake, Jake, Jake. Fred Schultz with the T Grays. Jeter Downs is supposed to be is supposed to be pretty good. He's from the Reds organization. The Reds had him highly touted. There's Michael King for the Yankees. And the Dodgers, he was highly ranked in the Dodgers organization. There's Jalen Davies. And then was a big key part of the uh, 
of that Mookie Betts deal. There's Shalen Davis for the Giants, Michael Armstrong. Verdugo, I, I, Jeter Downs I've not seen a lot of, but Verdugo I've seen a lot of. He's a pretty solid, I don't know what his ceiling is going to be, but he's very good defensively. He's got a good eye. Doesn't, I don't think he strikes out a lot. The power should come later. It was Otani to 125. Had some... Ooh, Jordan Alvarez, 9 out of 50. Nice. Rated rookie autograph? Yes, black parallel. Jordan Alvarez, Astros. That'll be for Johnny Cannon. Verdugo did have some... I mean, this is probably goes for any kid, but but had some maturity issues earlier on. I think a lot of his Instagram posts, seeing him out partying and stuff, and maybe not focusing on, on his game. There's Dave Grulon for the Phillies. Probably more, more, than, more than most youngsters, I guess, his age. So there, there had to be some talks with him. I think that kind of slowed his progress down for a year or two, whether it's by rep or by he was actually really goofing off. But I think... After a couple of cups of coffee in the major leagues and some spring training stuff, I think some coaches and some vets kind of sat him down and was just like, come on, man, you're a good player, but you got to get your head on straight. John McCall, get to the majors first, you know. But he turned that around, and I, I, think, I think that maturity was like a big turnaround for him. Relatively speaking, he doesn't seem to strike out a lot. I think that's what it is. He's got some great plate discipline. I think in 377 plate appearances with the Dodgers, over 106 games, 13% strikeout rate, which is, which is pretty good. What his ceiling could be. What did he hit last year? 290 average last year, 342 on base percentage, 475 slugging, 12 home runs in 100 games, handful of stolen bases. I mean, he's just an everyday starter. 2.2 war, which is not bad. So everyday starter in the outfield, good defense. He hits you 290. Maybe eventually gets you 20 home runs or so a year. 20, 25 home runs. That's not bad. I'll take that. Maybe an all-star season here and there. All right, next box, Pete Alonzo, orange to 100. Sam Hilliard. The autograph is Nick Solak. Pink Velocity autograph for the Rangers. That's going to go to Anthony Frank. I need some more top loaders here. Stand by. I can make through this box though. JD Martinez, Jared Kelnick, rated prospect hollow. Jesus Lazardo, 
Is your rated rookie autograph for the A's? Ryan Hayes with the A's. Jose Abreu to 199. Vlad Guerrero Jr. Star, uh, in spirit of 76 out of 76. Isan Diaz and Glaber Day stained glass. Jet, Harris, and Asher Lamb longs for the days of when uh, Tim Lincecum was with the Giants. Man, Tim Lincecum. That guy was pretty electric. Hated facing, and he would just always just smoke the Dodgers too. It was just. But then, what? What was it? Was it injuries that really did him in? He had that violent throwing motion. I think some injuries did him in. I think his brother passed away recently too. Yeah, did his arm explode? Was that what it was? So let's see. His first full. Well, his first season. Picked up uh, 24 starts, went seven and five with a four ERA, and wasn't really it was okay. But then his first full 30 30 plus start season, 33 starts, 18 and five with a 2.62 ERA. Ten and a half strikeouts per nine. I mean that that's crazy. 265 strikeouts total. Another 15 win season, 16 wins, 13. Then he went 13 and 14. Then he went 10 and 15. So there was a drop off, but that might be arm related. 10 and 14, but that's 30 starts, 30 starts, 30 starts. And then it dropped off real fast. 26 starts in 2014, then dropped down to 15 starts in 2015, nine starts with the Angels in 2016. And then by then, I think the injuries had either caught up with him or... But I think his performance had already started sliding down. Must have been arm-related. But he got, he got... He logged in the starts. Were those, were those Dusty Baker years? With Lincecum? I think some may, some may argue that... I think some may argue that... Uh, he, Dusty Baker, wore out his arm. Of course, Gavin. Definitely like the Mookie bet signing. As a Phillies fan, Gavin doesn't like it. it means you have to play against him more often, right? He's in the NL now. And JT, Real Muto, is going to want boatloads more. I don't think he's going to get Mookie money, though, is he? What's up, Ben Clark? Anthony Banda is back. I think he's going to get some starts this year. He, he might make the big club. Dust off your Anthony Banda rookie cards. He had some arm issues. Maybe surgery, and then now he's back and might be an effective starter. Michael King, rated rookie autograph. Oh, yeah, I need more talk. Ronald Acuna Jr. to 150. Gavin saying if JT has a career 60 games with his bat, he's gonna get a huge contract. I mean, he's, he's not gonna get 30 million dollars a year though. I love he's yeah he's a great player, but 
I don't think he's. I don't think he's gonna get thirty million a year. Or Sean Murphy for the Oakland A's. Ryan Hayes. There's Mookie Betts right there. That'll ship. There's Christian Yelich to 199. What, JT High Teens? Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. You get him like... 19 million, 18, 19 million dollars a year. Five years or so. Five or six years, something like that. Oliver, you think JT get 150 and six? 25 million dollars a year. Will they give a give a catcher in six years? Unless they're gonna move him out of that spot. I guess the I guess if the universal DH I guess if the DH becomes universal, right, which is looking like it's gonna happen in the next year or two, that actually would not be bad for JT Real Muto. You can have him out of the DH spot. Twenty five a year isn't bad. Are we already at the last box? All right, nice. Last box. We'll do a quick little recap as well at the end, which we'll, which we'll tend to do if breaks take over 45 minutes or so to an hour. We'll weigh up. We'll do our best to do recaps, if we remember. I do remember Eric Gagne. I think Eric Gagne's issue was the uh, was the PEDs. Is that how you take PEDs? I don't know if that's how you do it. I guess you can inject PEDs as well. And there's Masahiro Tanaka. Didn't he just take one off the head? Is he okay? Well, Gavin, when you see the recap, you're, you, you can see for yourself what you think of Optic. Pretty solid though, I think. They do a pretty good job with this every year. They don't get too crazy with this and everyone seems to like it. Usually grades out pretty well. Nice Edwin Rios, 10 out of 10. There, there's a player who can benefit from a universal DH this year and in future, future years. He's okay on the IL though, says Oliver. Masi or Tanaka. This guy. Look at some of his home runs. He he can he can crush some uh, some deep hits. Trey Mancini to 150. Fifteen out of seven. Are are we even looking at the exit velo on that uh, on that Giancarlo San comebacker? Ouch. That'll be for Brian and the White Sox. Bobby Bradley to 50. And Bo Bichette stained glass at the end. That's a good finish to his swing right there. Nice break, everybody. Here's a quick little recap. Got a ton of parallels that we'll sleep in top load, uh, but here are your autographs. And I guess any other low numbered cards we might have spotted. Pretty solid break, if I do say so myself. A lot of nice color in the mix. Tatis Jr. autograph, Dominguez Hollow. That's the case hit right here. Javier Baez, that was to 10. TJ Zook, 
Fireworks autograph, Corbin Carroll, Dustin Madroya, gold autograph, and a Bo Bichette auto, a Jason Dominguez auto, and a Zach Collins gold vinyl one of one. Not too shabby at all. There you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We'll see you next time for more. Bye-bye.